That is a pagan symbol. You did not ask him if you were sure? Maybe you... You know what? I think like time. Like when there's just like a whole lot of chaos or just like this. Gap in information. And there's a lot of time in between. With nothing said or, you know, just too much time is going on. I think the, the gap in time, like the length of it, I think that tells you what, decision to, what decisions to make when it comes to situations or people. Or whatever the case may be. You know what I'm saying? Then you got to look at everything that happened, right? That went on. Either behind your back, under your nose. Then you got to look at everybody who was involved. Everything they tried to do. Right? Or everything they didn't do. And then people that act oblivious as if they were outside of the situation and it was going on outside of them, you know what I'm saying? And they talk to you like nothing ever happened or like there's nothing that they need to be speaking. Two, three, four on my timer. <laughs> then you got people who were, who hate you, who have never shown their face, who have been sending you an evil eye, want to come to you and tell you info about a whole bunch of drama and chaos to shy you away from specific people. When they've been watching you the whole time. And if they've been watching you the whole time, then they should know that you don't give a damn about anyone that's involved or hearing what they got to say or any apologies. And the fact that you don't want anything to do with them or their drama or their lifestyles. Three, four, five on my timer. Let me say this. If there's anybody from your past, right? that treated you a certain way or certain ways. Oh, excuse me. Treated you like you're invisible. They felt some way for you, but they treated it like they told everybody that you were the one that was crazy or pursuing them or just a whole bunch of nonsense. Or they're not honest about who they are. You know, it's just a lot of, don't they just sound like a lot of chaos? 444 on my time, don't they just sound like a lot of chaos? A lot of childish behavior, a lot of BS. Wouldn't it be easier just to move forward 
and just leave all that back there to deal with itself? I thought so too. Yeah, people just got too many secrets, man. Too many skeletons in their closet. Too much drama. Too many mommy issues. Not enough backbone. Standing on their own two feet. Toxic friends, toxic family. Toxic lovers. It's just too much. It's too much. Like, how do you even live that way? Like, how does your heart not just burst out of the scenes? Five, five, five on my timer. How do you even function? Mm. I just know. I've been treated in all type of ways, it, every way, but the right way. You know what I'm saying? And I choose to go forward. Not having to worry about money. Not having to worry about drama. Not having to worry about lies, secrets, and deception. Not having to worry about people using me for sex or money and just disappearing. Not having to worry about crazy exes. Trying to put hexes and spells. That don't matter anyway because I'm protected <laughs> to, the, to the heavens. That don't matter. But that's not my life. None of that's my life. It's really nothing to really think about. It's just like a... You know what I'm saying? I know this is out of nowhere, but it's just like... I, I, <laughs> I'm doing a reflection here. And it's like... You sit back and you think, you know, like, what's... What is available to be what is possible to be overlooked, okay? Everything's possible to be forgiven, right? I can forgive. But what's impo what's possible to be overlooked and what's not possible to be overlooked, right? How far did people go? And the fact that nobody stopped for a second to think, right? And people from my past want me to forgive them, which I have done, but then want me to allow them to come back in. What do I look stupid? A lot of people went very far to very far lengths to do a lot of evil, nasty, dirty, scheming, underhanded, criminal things. And they did not succeed. I'm just... <laughs> Feeling like a pimp, go on, brush your shoulders off. Mm. You know, sometimes it's good to just let people live in their mess. You know what I'm saying? You only give people a certain amount of time to make things right. And when they don't, and you're the one, okay? It's like I'm the one that gives the time limit on that. Right? If that time limit is not met, 
All bits are up. Okay. People all people have time. Even God gives people time. But people never stop or turn around until the shoe's on the other foot. So now I'm supposed to sympathize and empathize with fools. Arrogant, prideful fools. And I know, I know the Lord don't like that word fools. I'm just putting the shoe where the shoe fits. You know what I'm saying? Forgive me, Lord. This taught me a lot of lessons. Taught me a lot of lessons. A lot of lessons. I feel like I just passed the bar exam. For real. 11 11 on my timer. Woo! One important thing I learned, and I find it of great importance, is to not backtrack and walk backwards the past is already gone and I'm living in the present and tomorrow isn't here yet what I know that about people and habits is old habits die hard and people don't change that easily Even when bad things happen to them, they have a tendency to switch up on you real quick, especially when they don't get their way, when things don't go their way. I told myself that I would only accept people in my life that are not controlling Right? Because I'm not controlling. I know that I'm not in control. It's a difference there. God is in control. Right? And people think that they're God. So that can never work with me. You know what I'm saying? You can't be around me and think that you're God. No. We can't. We can't. We can't mesh together. We can't mix together. We can't even call each other friends. Nope. Uh, you can't even be my associate. Ever. And what I know about people with God complexes is that that doesn't really go away. Because as soon as people feel good and they're feeling on top of the world for a second, they'll revert back to thinking that they're God and that they're in control. Even learning that they're not in control. How would you look at somebody that tried to apologize to? Not that they tried to, because... They still act like nothing ever happened and they don't, they're oblivious and like they don't watch me 24 seven. But, um, isn't that like, like somebody acting like you're a secret and they were married for 10 years and had a family and made you the mistress or Mr. whatever you want to say. And acted like you were the one that was trying to break up their home. How do you let that back in? You don't. You don't.
And when people make decisions, especially hasty ones, they're stuck with them. Especially with me. There's only a, one, there's only a certain a certain level of hurt that you can that you can put on me that you can do to me that I'll overlook and forgive you for and allow you slowly to come back in. But this level that I've experienced for the first time in my life, this was to the sky just up there actually down there <laughs> let me be technical and I just never look at people the same anymore like every time I would look at them I would just feel disgusted you know what I'm saying sick to my stomach and that's all I would remember about them is that this is who they are. This is who they've been for most all of their life. So why would they change now? You know what I'm saying? So I guess lesson is when people refuse to give you honesty, when people refuse to give you truth, When people refuse to change as you are changing while they have the chance, then you have to keep going, right? Forgive, of course, right? But forget? No. I'll never forget that. I'll, that, that. If there's anything I remember for the rest of my life, it's that. I'll be telling my grandkids this story. My great-great-grandkids this story. Hell, this story might be the thing that <laughs> takes me all the way. You know, it's crazy, the whole, all, everything that I found out up until this day, it's been on my own. <laughs> I haven't yet had anyone that was a part of it tell me what's up. Just try to hide it. So in that alone, and the fact that I still haven't gotten a confession, an apology, acknowledgement, I think that's all the decision I need to make right there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Because I deserve those things. Right? I ain't nobody's damn option. I'm top tier. Number one. I treat people like gold. And people will treat me as such. That's, that's it. That's all. <laughs> so, I guess I'm saying this because I was in my head about it a little bit. You know, I was like, well, let's see what happens. But you know what happened? The same thing happened. Silence. People acting in oblivious. Just sneakiness closet full of skeletons and bones and just mess so moving on first order of business get this money <laughs> actually the money's gonna get it's coming in to me but uh yeah so, uh, yeah, if y'all can take any ad advice from that, <laughs> you 
Yeah, 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 yeah. I can't wait to tell. I cannot wait to. The next, the next person that I end up with a relationship with, I cannot wait to tell them this crazy story. They're probably even gonna think it's real. I cannot wait to tell this story. Okay. <sighs> like, babe, look, babe, you'll never guess. You'll never guess. Let me tell you. Let me tell you <laughs> about my last. <laughs> But yeah, that's it, y'all. I just, just came on the event right quick. Just just to chop it up, talk to that, you know. So, uh, yeah. As the moral of the story is, let old people go. Let old people go. Old habits die hard. And people don't change that easily. They just want to use you. Because you're good. Because you love. Because you got good things. <laughs> nah. 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 I'm out of here. Later. Peace.